So I'm just sitting here enjoying my Saturday afternoon and I get an email from an anonymous source containing a video file and a link to an ABC News article. I open this link and it's about a girl named Annalise Nielsen. Uh, she runs a girls only kind of sorority group in LA that's allegedly very feminist. The group has been known to share rape stories, it's been in the media a few times. Not particularly interesting, Annalise from her Twitter just kind of seems like a basic hashtag shout your abortion kind of feminist who somehow gets media attention. But then I clicked on the link to the video in this uh, email and oh my goodness, it is absolutely mind-blowing. According to the individual who sent me this email, the shrill nails on a chalkboard voice in the clip is in fact Annalise. And I apologize in advance for your mental health, but just, just watch this. You thought that was adorable. You didn't think about like the pillaging of the like continent of Hawaii. I didn't even know there was pillaging. Oh, you didn't? No. Okay, so you won't get rid of the doll then? Because that was like really cute thing that you found at Goodwill. Um, no, I'm not gonna not get rid of it because of that. I just don't realize it was a person But so obviously like you as like a white male, you were like the least like- But now you're judging me, you're assuming we're on call. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not judging you. Either. I'm just saying like that perhaps like you might be the person who is least hurt in this situation. I'm a passenger in your car, like that doll is offensive to me, but you don't want to take it down because you like found it at Goodwill and it was like a good find. Yeah, no, I do want you to because it's actually deeply offensive. No, I do want you to take it down. All right, well, I mean, obviously you're going to give me a one star, but I'm not taking it down, so I'm sorry about that. Sorry, I'm going to do uh, worse than give you a one star. You can do whatever you like. I'm not trying to offend you. If you want to drop me off over here or at the next exit, I can't do that. But No, I would like you to take me to my destination. And I, I won't do that, but Thank I you. don't think my, my beautiful lady Lola is offending you. That's okay. You're gonna be on Gawker. <laughs> no, on you will be published on Gawker, and you'll be like the next internet meme. It's gonna be super funny. Yeah, I mean, like God forbid, like anyone take your special Hawaiian doll away from you. Um, because it's a thing that actually affects my life, and a thing that doesn't affect your life. I'm Asian as well. So okay, what so what is your Asian heritage? It's irrelevant. But you're trying no, to tell it's me not about irrelevant. Here. It's actually super relevant. Really? Well, yeah, so part? which part this of it is, is part not irrelevant? Yeah, you're, irrelevant. You're, you're, you're the fact that. that you care that much about something that is on his dashboard? Yes, I do actually care a lot. That's sad. It's not it's sad. sad, it's important. Did you say it was pathetic? Yeah. Can I have your name, please? Uh, Jane. And your last name? Green. Thank you. Well, my mother passed me that way, and I'm so excited. Wow, you have the first bad experience I've ever had with Lyft, and it's unfortunate that it has to be like that. I'm excited. I'm, like, I'm, I'm a very respectful person, and the, the fact that you're taking offense to that, like, I'll take a picture That's of it. That's a disrespectful it. object that you have in your car, right. and, and we'll whether you're right. Asian or not, you should be considerate to the fact that you might have passengers that don't the find that, that thing to be. It off of my dashboard when it's super glued no, I just said, like, what you can it? you can set it, it down for a second. It, down, it might be like, not amusing to all passengers. You're going to yeah. experience this again by the way okay. and so I hope that from this lesson this like today lesson, you're, you're being rude actually no I'm not being yeah, there's rude there's one way to tell somebody something and there's another way in which how you're doing it and, and you're not being pleasant oh because I wasn't nice enough to you but, but I've been pleasant to you this whole time I wasn't nice enough to you no, for this thing training. that's fine I have been video recording the entire time I'm excited that's cool and, I, and I'm being respectful to you no you're not you have been actually very rude and extremely entitled Yeah, I'm sorry that you have no consideration for actual Hawaiian people who don't want to be a bobblehead item in your car while you're driving for a lift. You fucking selfish, dumbass idiot. <laughs>
You are being rude. You have no connection to this culture. You know what that is? That's a cute little bubble item that you had in your car that you don't know anything about and you're an idiot. Thank you very much for your opinion. Yeah, you're welcome. Maybe you will think about it tomorrow when you wake up in the morning. I very much will. It's gonna be awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I'm ending this ride right now, so if you'd like to call another lift, you can go ahead and No, you can that. take me all the way to my I house. You don't have to. It's no, my yes, car. you do. I'm the drop off. Here's a sidewalk. Have a wonderful night. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. I'm so excited. Can I have your name again? Nope. Have a great yes, night. Yes, I can. No, can I have your name again? Well, I'll just stay here well, then. Well, then. Oh my God. This is my car. Can you please get out of here? No, I won't. Call the, the police. Call 911. Okay. About how I won't leave I your wish car. You would. Can you please exit? No, I can't, but you can give me your first and last name. Here. Here's what I'll do instead. <laughs> Holy shit. The weirdest night of my entire life. And he could not get away fast enough so that I couldn't get this license plate number. How cute. Yeah, so what a jerk. This girl actually thought she was going to record this and upload the video and look like the same person in the exchange. I'm so happy this guy got her out of his car and refused to take down the hula girl because that is absolutely the right course of action to take. You cannot appease these people. You can't say sorry to them because nothing will appease them. They are going crazy over absolutely nothing. And you are not in the wrong, certainly not, for having a hula bobble on your dashboard. And this guy realized that. But he probably uh, got a complaint sent to Lyft anyways and low ratings as she said she would give him. So I really hope this didn't impact his job and if it did that Lyft sees this and knows he was the sane one in the exchange. Um, but this is just mind blowing. It's straight from the entitlement social justice textbook. Uh, the girl feels it's her moral duty to lecture everyone else on their behavior while she waltzes around being the most uncivilized ass in the room or in the car in this case. And clearly she realized that later because she didn't send this to Gawker to ruin this guy's life or upload it at all. Um, and I have no idea how my source got their hands on the video. So clearly she sent it to a few people. But I don't feel bad uploading it because if you don't want to look like an ass online, then don't treat people this way. Don't act like this towards others. I mean, it's hard enough working retail. Everyone who has worked retail knows that. It's hard enough driving an Uber when you get crazy customers or a Lyft. And this guy is just trying to do his job. It is just a hula girl. You don't need to get mad over that. That is literally insane. So Annalise, hopefully a lot of people see this video and see the way you treated this man and hopefully you learn, for it, learn from it and learn to treat people a little better than this because that is just wrong.